AGS, please start giving us dates when it comes to New World stuff. I'm talking fresh, I'm talking brimstone, I'm talking dev updates. And not only are we going to talk about that, we're also going to talk about like a few little mini news things that have happened, probably not big enough to make their own video about necessarily on their own, but we'll come to that in good time. First, let me do a big shout out to my YouTube members. I do really appreciate you guys and the list is growing, so I do really thank you as a community. I is very appreciated indeed. If you want to support the channel, that's the best way to do so. So let's talk about the main subject and that is dates. Now, not only is it dates, it's also the disappointment that a lot of us felt with the New World Dev update, which I actually think was probably our expectations rather than it being like a bad update, okay? Simply put, I think the dev update was fine. It had some interesting information, and if you were really interested in the details about Brimstone and the new patch, then an hour long talking about it, yeah, great, that's all good. However, I'm not really sure there's that big of an audience for that kind of content. And unfortunately, I think what we end up having with these dev updates is that there's also the audience who just want reveals. We just sort of want news. And it seems like Amazon is sort of reluctant to give anything sort of like sizable in those, or at least that's generally not what they're for. They're more for how things are going and more in-depth looks at stuff. To be fair, if we expected every month to have like big reveals in a dev update, that's unrealistic. I sort of wish that they would maybe split these into two different things. Maybe we should have a dev update where it's actually reveals and maybe we can have like a dev insider where it's like the nerdy details for people who care about that. So I'll basically break it down into hey, this is important, this is the news, these are like all the new stuff that's coming, little tweaks to the games that you need to know about. And then secondly, hey, this is all the stuff where like, hey, we're going to talk about how the Great Sword was created, how the sound for the Great Sword was created and stuff like that. Because some people are interested in that. But you have the two audiences sort of butting heads a little bit. And we saw a bit of a reaction against that. But beyond the dev update, we also have an issue with dates just in general. And really, it boils down to the fact that Amazon, they don't really give dates for patches. They basically get revealed, put onto the PTR, like, you know, it's like, like this is coming today and then it goes on the PTR okay and then before that update goes live it's like a, maybe like a day or two they go this is coming on Thursday and it's like really really late it's like two days at most right and I think that's actually a little bit negative for the game it's hard for players to set their expectations when it's going to get like sprung on them so many people have asked me when Brimstone is coming and I can't give you a definitive answer because there isn't one I have a theory I think it's probably going to come either next week or the week after. Do I know that for sure? No. I, I'm not going to explain why I think that, but um, yeah, I do believe that. But I think the reluctant to give dates for these sort of like big patches is just frustrating a little bit for the community. Not that it really changes anything too much. I don't think many people are going to be taking many days off for Brimstone. I don't think it's that kind of event, but it would just be nice to sort of organize your life around it a little bit. That sounds dramatic, but I have a wife, a kid. Maybe if Brimstone was coming tomorrow, maybe tonight I would spend loads more time with the family so I can get like brownie points for tomorrow and the wife doesn't hate me. Then I can just nail Brimstone for an evening. No. Yeah, I mean, I realise I may not need like that much time to do that, but you get the sort of gist. Maybe some people would book a day off. It would also, I think, just generally create hype for that patch. If the patch was said to be coming out on the 8th of October or the 11th of October, everybody would be like, yes, boys, let's go. But without that, it's a bit like, eh, it's coming. And I just think it's leading to a few frustrations. That I do also personally sure because it would make my YouTube job a little bit easier. I use the term job very loosely though, by the way. I actually have a full-time office job, hence why I'm wearing the shirt today. Now I can see why we don't get dates for patches. I do understand the counter argument to that. Imagine they say it's coming on the 8th, but then on the PTR they find an issue and it's not quite ready. Then they've got to be like, hey guys, it's actually been delayed a week. And that would come with its own sort of negative PR essentially. But I personally don't see that con outweighing the good of giving you a date. I think the hype you would get from a date would be better than the con you get from or we've had to move it back a week especially if you sell the date as this is providing that the testing goes well and at this point we're sort of seeing a semi-regular schedule of when the PTRs go live to when we actually get the patch it's generally about five updates like five weeks and you know these are smart people. I'm sure they can figure it out a little bit better than I can. So yeah, I understand some counterpoints. I just don't think they're all that good. The next thing is obviously Fresh. There is a massive hype for Fresh right now. Everybody again wants to know when it's coming. And then we got the dev update and they said very little. We're basically going to find out more information soon. I truly, truly hope that we get some advanced warning of Fresh. I do not want it to be the same as what we've seen before. I don't want them to be like, okay, Fresh is coming tomorrow. That will be really painful. Fresh is the kind of thing that some people will literally book time off work for and just hardcore grind and not only that some people are considering playing or not right now 
and they're waiting for information about Fresh. The longer that sort of is held off, the more like hype we sort of lose regarding Fresh. So I appreciate that they may not have everything worked out, but I'm guessing they have some kind of plan already. Obviously the dev update would have been a perfect time to drop that kind of information. So overall, my main gripe is that there just isn't enough dates given from Amazon. I understand that dates sort of lead to disappointment, but I just feel like the hype would be so much worth it. I don't really mind the disappointment of the dev update. They were celebrating their success in the year. They dropped some big news and telling us what was coming in like mounts and raids and stuff like that. Unfortunately, a lot of us nerds sort of already knew that was coming. You know, we can pick up on a hint when they say raids would be really cool in the game. Wink, wink. You know, you don't have to be a genius scientist to figure that one out. So yeah, I don't mind the dev update in itself. It's just, I think that the audience that it's targeted at is probably quite small. However, let's now move on to some of the news. There are some new servers opening. It's pretty much like one in each region again. That's in preparation of Brimstone, they actually mentioned this time around. Again, my prediction goes that I think we'll see Brimstone in about two weeks. I think we'll definitely see Brimstone before the 18th of October, because I'm pretty sure that's when the data mine said the Halloween event would start. And then secondly, there has been an update to the PTR today. Oh, it's happening like right now. Not really much in it. It's literally just fixes. But that's PTR 4. Sometimes we get a 5 and a 6. So that's why I think two weeks sort of makes sense, right? So yeah, I understand people being disappointed with that dev update. I would like them to maybe consider how they're telling us this information, especially now that it seems like they're going to slow down the rate of content to make sure the quality is high. I think it would make sense to say this is going to be a big dev stream that is coming on the 5th and you know the reveals are coming or they could be like this is going to be an in-depth developer look at certain things that we've already announced like I don't think it helped that Brimstone has pretty much been covered to death for like a month if this dev update would have been released a month ago everybody would have probably felt a bit better about it but alas the PTR sort of takes away some of that specialness and then as I said really really need some times times and dates weirdly build hype you can then plan around it and you can get excited for it Yes, you get a bit disappointed when things are postponed, but I just feel like the pros of that outweigh the cons. So I would encourage them to do some dates. Show me the receipts. That doesn't really apply here, but I've said it now anyway, so we're sticking with it. Big shout again to my YouTube members. Again, thank you so much to you guys. I do truly appreciate that. Anything to get away from ad revenue, basically. Let me know your thoughts about dates. Let me know your thoughts about the dev update. What you should definitely do, though, is have the most beautiful day. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.